artist friends, are you ready to draw something great? Today I'm going to show you how to do some different things in ocean life. We've done a lot of things lately with the ocean or the sea or the water, so I wanted to give you a couple more things so that you could make your pictures have all the details that you can think of. All right, are you ready to draw? Get your paper or your pencil, your crayon or marker, whatever you want to draw with, and let's do some ocean life. Okay, now when I think of ocean life, I'm really talking about the bottom of the ocean um, and where there's a lot of animals. So that's more in the shallow part where there's lots of beautiful, colorful creatures, like the th kinds of things you see in Finding Nemo. So today I'm going to show you how to draw some coral, some shells, we'll do a starfish, a puffer fish, and some seaweed. Okay, first of all, we need to draw the bottom of the ocean so we know where all these little ocean creatures live. We're going to draw kind of a bumpy, wavy line right here. Okay, when you're drawing an ocean picture, you want to make that line go all the way across both edges of your paper. All right, now on this wavy line, let's add some coral. There's a couple different types of coral. The first one is going to be with kind of curb, curved tube-like shapes. So what we're going to do is come up and curve and then come back down and up and curve and come back down and curve and now we're going to go out this way a little bit and maybe one more and down okay now the way to make it look like coral and not a plant is to draw little dots because coral has little tiny holes all over it so if you can take your crayon and you could even use a different color than you drew with and add some dots, this will look like coral. Okay, now let me show you another kind of coral. This one's a little bit more spiky, so we're going to do kind of long, sharp triangle shapes. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to do spiky triangles. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up down. Okay. We still have to do those little dots so that we know that this is coral and not a plant. So come back in and do, or you can even go like this and do circles. I'm going to let you decide because you're the artist of your paper and you can even mix them. So dots and circles and this all just gives it something called texture. Okay, now let's draw a plant seaweed. This is pretty easy. We're going to start off with a curvy line and we're going to let it go kind of tall like this and then we're going to draw another line right next to it. So just curve around and just follow that back down. Okay, there's lots of kinds of seaweeds. I'm going to show you something that has really round leaves. They're really easy. We're just going to draw an oval here and then an oval on this side. And you can just alternate going every other side, and they can be different sizes. Some of them can be big, some can be small. And the great thing about the ocean is that there are so many different plants and creatures, you can do anything you want to these to add texture. You could do stripes, you could do polka dots, you could color them different colors. They don't have to be just green. Okay, let me show you just one other type of seaweed that kind of has long flowing leaves. I'm going to make my sand go just a little bit further this way. This time, I'm just going to do a long flowy leaf like this. So it's just two lines that follow each other and make a point at the top. That's all it is. Let's do it again. I'm going to go up, make a point, and I'm going to come back down. One more over here, up and back down. Now something that can really add some dimension to this is to draw a line right in the middle. A lot of leaves, leaves have a line in the middle, they're symmetrical usually. They look the same on one side as they do on the other. So we're just going to take a line and we're going to go right up that leaf and one over here and one right here. Okay. Now, like I said, we're doing the shallow part of the ocean floor, like where the tidal pools are and the coral reefs. So we see a lot of really colorful fish. Do you remember how easy it was when I showed you how to draw fish a while back? All we need is a curved line on top, a curved line on the bottom. We can pick whatever kind of fin we want. We can just do a simple triangle, fin on the top, fin on the bottom, 
one circle here, a colored in circle there. Remember we need a curved line and we can draw another fin here. Okay, now fish a lot of times are in things called schools. It means it's a lot of the same fish. So you could draw more of his friends that looked just like that if you wanted. And you know how to draw them now. And you can draw them all different sizes and kind of close together. I want to show you how to draw a different type of fish. So it's going to be kind of the same. We're going to do a curve on the top, curve on the bottom, and he has fins. But when this fish gets a little nervous, he blows up like a ball. This is a puffer fish, okay? So curve on the top and curve on the bottom to make a circle. All right, now he has a fin that is kind of round. We can go like this, around, 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 like that. And then, um, you know this fin right here? Well, he has it too. We can draw this line, because he has a body just like this, but it just gets blown up. And then we can draw a little fin that's right here. And then we need to draw his eyeball, his eye and his eyeball. Okay, now to make him look like a puffer fish, we need little points. They're just little tiny triangles. We're going to draw some on top. You want some sticking off his body, like this. And some are on his body. So you just draw them straight up and down. So it's just like an upside down V. And then we get little, and if I go down towards the bottom, I'm going to turn my V the right way. OK. And then uh, a lot of times they have just these little kind of lips. So we're just going to go curve and a curve. And then we've got a puffer fish. OK, I want to show you one last thing. Let's do a C star. This is just a series of five triangles. And sea stars aren't always perfect. They move, especially when they're alive. A lot of times when we see a sea star, it's dead and it's very brittle and, and you can't move it. But when they're in the ocean, they really move around. So our arms can be whatever way we want. So we're just going to start off by drawing one triangle like this. One, two, three. Look at that. I had to stop because my curl's in the way, and that's fine. Then he'll look like he's behind. Four and five. Okay, now just like the coral, starfish have little tiny circles, little tiny holes, and we have to do that, or we would just think a star came down and we weren't sure what it was. We gotta show the texture so it looks like it's in the ocean. So we're just going to draw some dots or polka dots. And if you want, you can make a face on your starfish. We can't really see them when we pick them up, but for fun, if you'd like to draw a face, you can. We'll add some more circles here and some more dots. Okay, and for the sand, we also need some dots. So take your crayon and give the sand some dots. Add some texture. Okay, now it's up to you what to add. You can add more details, you can add more fish, you can add more seaweed, and you can make the most amazing ocean life picture ever. Remember that you are a great artist. I want you to keep on drawing, and I will see you next time. Good job, everybody. Bye.